Nobody is safe. Nigerians in panic as Boko people with deadly weapon open fire on 100 people over Tunubu's refusal to leave office. Um, you see now, the Boko people are now demanding for Tunubu to leave office now. You see, you see, these people, they are very, very selfish, self-centered and wicked. They have seen that Tunubu is not going to be a profit to them. Yes, Tunubu have refused to give them attention, which is very good. So now, because of that, they are now fighting. Their own center of attack now and their own reason for attack is that Tunubu has refused to leave office. So for that reason, they have abducted over 100 people, including women and their children. This is madness. Let's check the contents. This is today's news. It was reported that armed Boko people abducted more than 100 individuals, mainly women and their children, during the evening of Friday in four villages located in the Maru local government area of Zamfara State. The Bokos launched an attack on the village of Mutumji, Sabongari, Mahunta, Kwana, saying until Tunubu leaves office, they will keep abducting. According to the information provided by residents of the affected villages, the Boko had imposed a harvesting levy of 110 million naira, equivalent to approximately $264,000 on the villagers two weeks ago. This is the price Tunubu must pay for not listening to us. The leader of the Boko, known as Damina, had warned the communities that they would face violence until Tunubu leaves. However, the villagers had begun collecting the funds but were unable to fulfill the Boko demands. The division of the levy was as follows. Mutumji was required to pay 50 million. Kwana Dutsi, 30 million. Sabongari Mahunta, 20 million. And Onguwa Kawo, 10 million. The Boko attacked the village at approximately 8 p.m. during the evening prayers and forcefully took individuals from their residence. They also seized food supplies, livestock, and valuable things, while some villagers who attempted to resist or flee were fatally armed or wounded by the Bokos. Wicked generation. Wicked generation, I will say. You see, action need to be taken. Actions need to be taken. Because if action is not taken, these people will not will not uh, listen. Um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, uh, what I would just say is that he should swap into action. Because um, for not responding to these people or not giving them attention as really um, giving them one reason to go back into attack. You can see that the reason why these people are attacking Nigerians is not um, anything tangible. You can see that. But so, when you talk to them, they'll say, eh, we have a reason. We have been intimidated. We have been cheated. Is this a cheat? This is not a cheat. They are liars. They are liars. Okay, oh. We don't talk finish. Uh, my people, uh, I would like to to hear from you on this very issue and let us know what your take, what your opinion, and also what your advice should be about this because these things are now getting out of hand. Okay? So please don't forget your comments and don't forget your action. Don't forget your take. 
don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you